Most of us face a rough patch at one time or another in our lives, and we end tonight with a man who can teach us all something about how you turn sadness into joy. Steve Hartman met him on the road. After Jim Cotter lost his wife last year, he set out to paint the town. But don't judge him too harshly for that. Not until you hear the rest of his story. I miss her, and uh, this just gives me something that keeps me from missing her more. The town Jim set out to paint is Gloucester, Ohio, population 2000. Once a thriving coal community, it's been both peeling and unappealing for years. Pretty bad. Jim says he's always wished someone would fix it up. The buildings have become dilapidated. So after his wife died, he decided to be that someone. I can do something about the town. We'll paint it. The town? The town. The whole town? The whole town. He started with this fire hydrant, moved down the road and did the guardrail, then hit a home stretch. One, two, three. He painted house after house. Four. Business five, after business. Gift shop. All for free. So how did it make you feel when you saw it? Cried. You did? Yeah. Bonnie Shiflet owns the newly painted Bonnie's Restaurant. It just did something to me. It's just amazing what a little bit of paint will do. <laughs> it changes people's hearts. It also inspires them to join in. Over the last few months, volunteers have been coming out of the woodwork to paint the woodwork and help Jim reach his goal. It's amazing how this thing is spread. It's just gone like topsy. <laughs> Today, you can't walk more than a couple blocks in Gloucester without finding someone painting something. Even the high school kids have been Tom Sawyered into helping. Not a painter, not a problem. Jim has found a way for pretty much everyone to contribute. And again, these are all volunteers donating their own time and often their own materials to work on buildings that aren't even their own. We're getting something out of it because it makes us feel better about our town. It's just uh, what a community ought to do. So far, Jim and his volunteers have painted or fixed up more than 20 buildings. And although they may never get to all the ones that need it, their effort alone has already made this community a brighter place to live and given this widower all he ever needed a fresh coat of purpose. So, well, thank you very much. Keep it up. Okay. Steve Hartman, on the road in Gloucester, Ohio.